Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to explore one of the most fascinating and potentially groundbreaking a mysterious and enigmatic force lurking in the shadows of history. A force that could change the very way we perceive the universe. Welcome to Unsolved Ether, the Forbidden Gravity Control. Please, like, share, and subscribe to unveil the mysteries that lie beneath our feet. Our story begins in the late 19th century, an era of groundbreaking scientific discovery where the concept of ether, a medium believed to fill all of space, was a widely accepted notion. But as time went on, the ether was abandoned, relegated to the pages of forgotten history. Or so it seemed. In 1977, an unconventional book emerged, authored by the enigmatic Rho Sigma, titled Ether Technology, A Rational Approach to Gravity Control. This book dared to challenge the scientific consensus, reigniting the controversy surrounding the elusive ether. Could this book hold the key to unlocking the secrets of gravity control and free energy? Among the inventors mentioned in Rose Sigma's book, Thomas Townsend Brown stands out as an influential figure. Brown claimed to have discovered a connection between electricity and gravity, developing devices that generated a propulsive force known as the Biefeld Brown effect. Although many scientists have dismissed his work as misunderstood electrostatic phenomena, the true nature of his experiments remains a mystery. In 1928, Brown began experimenting with high-voltage capacitors and observed that they exhibited a noticeable thrust in the direction of the positive electrode when energized. He believed this phenomenon was related to antigravity and spent his life trying to develop a propulsion system based on this principle. However, his work was often met with skepticism and criticism, and mainstream science never fully embraced his ideas. John Searle, another inventor cited by Rose Sick, claimed to have created the Searle Effect Generator, a device that allegedly harnessed the ether to generate antigravity and free energy. The SEG was said to have been built using concentric rings of magnetic materials, creating a self-sustaining vortex of energy that defied conventional physics. Was Searle's invention a glimpse into the future of gravity control, or a mere flight of fancy? Searle's work faced significant challenges, including a lack of funding and limited access to resources. Despite his claims of successful demonstrations, no independent verification of his technology has ever been made public. Many consider his work to be pseudoscience, and he was never able to commercialize or gain widespread acceptance for his theories. The legendary Nikola Tesla, a genius who shaped the modern world with his inventions, also dabbled in the mysteries of the ether. According to Rho Sigma, Tesla's dynamic theory of gravity linked electromagnetism and ether, hinting at the possibility of gravity control. His unfinished Wardenclyffe Tower project, initially designed for wireless energy transmission, has also been the subject of speculation regarding its potential anti-gravity applications. Although Tesla's work on electricity and electromagnetism gained him fame and respect, his later ideas about the ether were met with skepticism from the scientific community. Tesla's ambitious plans for Wardenclyffe Tower were never realized due to a lack of funding and support, and the project was eventually abandoned. In his later years, Tesla's reputation suffered as he faced financial difficulty and became increasingly reclusive. Despite his many accomplishments, his ideas about ether and gravity control were never fully explored or accepted by mainstream science. All three inventors, Brown, Searle, and Tesla, faced similar challenges in their quest to explore the mysteries of ether and gravity control. They struggled with a lack of funding, skepticism from the scientific community, and the burden of having their work labeled as pseudoscience or hocus-pocus. So, what can we conclude from the stories of Brown, Searle, and Tesla? The mysteries of ether and gravity control remain largely unexplored and unproven, as their work was met with skepticism and resistance. Despite the challenges they faced, their ideas continue to captivate the imaginations of those who dare to push the boundaries of scientific understanding. While the mainstream scientific community has yet to accept the theory and inventions presented by these visionaries, their stories remind us that the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending journey. It's essential to keep an open mind and explore the unknown, while maintaining a critical approach to new ideas and discoveries. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the enigmatic world of ether technology and gravity control. As you can see, the stories of these inventors are filled with mystery, intrigue, and controversy. If you're interested in learning more about these topics, consider reading Rho Sigma's Ether Technology, a rational approach to gravity control and delving deeper into the works of Brown, Searle, and Tesla. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep questioning the world around you.